I think it's been a good month since the last update to this project. And in that time, I haven't done a whole lot, but I have finished uh, fitting kind of the motors and the second kind of draw slide and mechanism on there. So I've got kind of full XY movement in place, along with uh, kind of motorized movement for that. I'm reusing the controller board from the laser engraver project, and so it should be at a state where it's movable. Um, I'm hoping to kind of bring this to the Brighton Maker Fair on, uh, on Saturday, which is a couple of days from now. So I've basically got tonight to finish off um, kind of general XY movement from software control ready for that. For the X and Y drive motors, I've opted for this kind of slightly kind of sticky out arrangement. I've got the um, uh, kind of motor shaft kind of coupling in here, flexible coupling, and that is uh, joining the motor, the stepper motor here, to the, the actual kind of trapezoidal shaft that runs through. And that's resulted in the, the kind of shape of this and the thickness of the wood also determined the, the distance it came out. But it's simple and it works quite well. I, uh, I use the laser cutter to cut a few bits of plastic as a mounting plate here. That's given me kind of precise uh, mounting holes and attachment to, to the motors bolted onto this plate. And then this plate is screwed onto the ends. And I've got exactly the same for X and Y. And it, um, it seems to work quite well. I've individually tested both of these motors now. And it does move the, the axes along. This is the other axes up here. I've got uh, a limit switch just kind of roughly tacked on the top. And this is um, not particularly well thought out, but it fits and it's good enough just for now. And you can see in there, we've got the uh, kind of slightly sprung kind of motor shaft coupler, just kind of give it a little bit of play. And so it doesn't have to be that accurate. So this is the electronics board I've got it running from. This is the same circuit I made for the laser engraver board. So there's two kind of Polo or Plulu uh, motor, uh, stepper motor drivers on here, Arduino kind of Pro Mini, and just a few kind of connectors. The USB connection I was using previously, the USB to serial converter, um, started failing. Didn't have a spare one, so I've switched to a Bluetooth connection. Uh, it's not ideal for something like this. And, but it, it does work, and it's good enough for now. And I'm running this all just from a uh, cheap little 12 volt power supply. Um, it's kind of working reasonably well, as I'll kind of briefly demonstrate. So I've got it running here from the Universal G-Code sender, same application I was playing with last time. It's got basic kind of uh, XY jog commands, as well as a few shortcuts for kind of killing the alarms and the homing mode. And again, the software has the same uh, kind of GBRL um, kind of open source system. And so I've got uh, X and Y control. <coughs> Movement is pretty good. Uh, so it goes kind of up a carriage here. The only thing I haven't got working, which is uh, disappointing, is the homing kind of cy cycle. From what I understand, it should be a pretty straightforward thing of issuing the kind of the H command, dollar H. It'll kind of move on until it hits these limit switches, and then reset. But that's not performing. As soon as I kind of hit. Um, Kind of the H mode, it, uh, it the motor's kind of turn on and it doesn't move. So it still needs a bit more investigation. But um, for now, I'm quite pleased just with general motion. The motors are running kind of fairly smoothly, and um, it's not kind of sticking at all. So if I set this off in a slightly longer run, it kind of ramps up. It runs smoothly, and in general, I'm pretty pleased with that. So I don't have this working as well as I'd have liked, but I do need to leave it here, sadly. Um, it's kind of moving back and forth, I've got manual control, I'm fairly confident I can feed in some G-code commands to draw a basic shape. It's not particularly safe without the kind of homing kind of points, but I could, I think I can uh, turn on the uh, limit switches to act as like an emergency stop, so that might be better than nothing in this case. Um, I will kind of revisit this and try and figure out why the homing system isn't working. Uh, I am running a slightly older version of GBRL, but um, the newer version got a slightly faster board rate, which wasn't compatible, at least with the stock kind of Bluetooth configurations, or I haven't upgraded it, so that might solve this problem. So I think I need to reuse the electronics, try and make them a little bit more robust, first of all. But hopefully with any luck, I will uh, have some success with this on Saturday, at least in some limited capacity.